Hello everyone. So today I'm going to tell you how to do the analysis of uh, the DFT calculation that you do for a periodic system using CASTEP or DEMO3. The analysis thing is going to be similar. Okay. How to do the band structure analysis and how to get this density of state dose and the projected density of state. So I'll be talking about all of these things in this video. So first what you need to do is you need to open the output file. This is the output file. Okay, and this is the input file. Okay, so this is the output file of my system that I have calculated here. Now I'll go to this CASTEP manual and here I'll go to the analysis. In analysis window, I'll click on the band structure. Okay, this is the band structure. And suppose I want the band structure unit in electron volt or battery. So whatever way, generally we take in EV. Okay, I'll select this EV from here. The graph style generally we select line and if you want density of state along with your band structure then you can click here else you can leave it generally we don't take and we'll click on the view so in this way you will be getting a band structure here right so now you take this zoom or chart viewer option now you shrink it and just see this is the frontier or more precise way of your band structure Suppose whatever window you want to keep, you can see zoom in, zoom out. You can use this uh, right click of your uh, mouse, and you using that you can you know scroll in, scroll down, and you can zoom in, zoom out. Whatever energy window you want, you can take it. So from this, so here I can see the this uh, maximum of this will see is O. Oh, it is the origin. Uh, means uh, this is the reference. This is the Fermi level here. So this uh, Fermi level is at set at zero in the Metal Studio by default, and the Fermi level below, like whatever bands are below the Fermi level, that is known as valence band, and above this is known as conduction band. Okay, and here you see this uh, valence band is this x-axis is the k spatial k points, and the y-axis is the energy in the EV. Okay, so in the spatial k point gamma g at the gamma, you can see this valence band it is maxima, right? And the conduction band is minima at uh, special k point k, right? So it is uh, minima and maxima are at two different k points, means this band gap is indirect band gap. If suppose the minima of the conduction band is also at the gamma and the maxima of the valence band is also at gamma. So if both of the k point is matching, in that case it will be direct band gap. Or in other way, there is a you know. Uh, conductive interference we tell that direct band gap if there is an inductive interference we tell that uh, indirect band gap so because of that what will happen if the band gap is uh, this maxima of the balance band and the minima of the conduction band which is here you can see zoom in and you can see see this is the minima here at this special point k and the maxima it has gamma so it is an indirect band gap okay so like that you can talk about that and even if you are seeing this band is totally flat means there is no interaction in that specific direction if there is a use mixing of bands means there is a good amount of interaction so that is what you can get from the this um, band stitch now apart from that suppose you want to get the density of state okay just click on the density of state in that same menu and here there are um, few options one option is get the full density of state full density of state is that this will give you the overall summation of the density of state for the each elements in your uh, lattice okay so that is the total density of state you click here everything you just keep normal and click view you'll be getting a density of state right where the x-axis is the energy in the ev and the y-axis correspond to the density of state in electrons per ev okay and this is the Fermi in the dot dot line and active energy belongs to valence band and the positive energy belongs to the conduction band right this is the total density of state now if you want to get the density of state of each and every equivalent elements what do you do just select this element suppose this is carbon and right click go to the select symmetry the images then you'll be seeing all of the equivalent carbon elements right so in my lattice there are two uh, or three varieties of carbon two varieties of different carbon right so for carbon there will be two density of state 
and for nitrogen there will be two density of state. So when we are going for partial density of state, in this case we can find out the density of state corresponding to each and every orbitals. Suppose right now I have selected carbon, right? Carbon will be having S and P orbitals, so D and F will remove, F and then some will keep. Now go to the atom selection and from atom selection we have to select carbon element from here and this is the periodic table you can get it from here and you can select carbon from here click on ok now there are three main options here create a new selection or select from the existing selection since we have already selected the elements we will go with this and click on select now remove it now click on the view menu you will be getting the this is the partial density of state for that specific uh, element that we have selected carbon right so this green color is the you can see here this is the sum that is the total density of state of that carbon and red color is the total density of state corresponding to p orbital of that and s is the s orbital right even if you are removing this you, you can remove that understood remove p then you can see so at for me you can see if i am removing if i am zooming i i zoom in and i will show you see this carbon is very minimal it's not huge at this front here right but for me it's not good amount so instead of carbon if suppose i'm taking these nitrogens i'm finding out the same thing the partial density of state so here you see in the front here you see huge amount of contribution from this nitrogen right and this is the nitrogen s orbital and uh, red one is the p orbital and green is the total density of state belongs to that nitrogen right so from this we can tell that nitrogen is dominating on the frontier and especially from the nitrogen lot pair because you see this valence this p electrons right that is the non-bonding maybe so that p uh, electrons of nitrogen is dominating the frontier that will be responsible for the reactivity of this material so based on that you can get these uh, different types of information from this density of state and projected density of state thank you